Welcome back, everyone. We love receiving your fashion and style questions. Experts Eva and Julianne are standing by to answer some of your submissions. Let's check the viewer inbox right now. Our first question is for Eva from viewer Tiana. Let's have a listen. I'm looking to switch things up with my wardrobe and was wondering if you had any suggestions on must-have outerwear for transitional weather. Okay, I love that. We all want must-have outerwear exactly. and we all know it's getting chilly. So what do you recommend, Eva? So I have three picks. Lovely. The, I know. The first pick is this beautiful knit coat. And what I love about this knit coat, first of all, it is so long. So you can wear it with your jeans, you can wear with really long dresses yeah. and ha have those like knee-high boots on it. Mm -hmm. And it's not too warm. So you can wear it out on a cool fall day. You can bring it inside when, they, when it gets colder and yeah. really be nice and snuggly. Lovely. And so my second pick is a I love that it's cream colored too. And now we've got a gorgeous like olive green. Well, this is, so we're seeing a lot of quilted jackets, but this quilted jacket is that athleisure look. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So we've got the collar right there. Mm -hmm. That's a very, very varsity. Again, I went with something long mm -hmm. in a green camo color. So you really can wear this when you're going to the mall yes. and going inside where you don't want to wear something too heavy. So I want to have that perfect transition piece. I purchased a jacket similar to this last year, and I'm always wearing it. Good. And honestly, with hot flashes, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. You want thin. You want to be, you know, covered but exactly not too heavy this is gorgeous okay I love a wool coat yeah and I love a wool coat that is not black mm -hmm. so I first of all selected the blue one because I love color I love the fact that you can actually wear chunky sweaters be underneath both of these coats because what's the worst thing we buy all these beautiful sweaters and we can't wear them because our coats are too stuck yeah so both of these you can wear chunky sweaters underneath and I love the fact that camel, because it's a sea of black, let's yes. do something a little bit different. Let's have some fun, right? Exactly. Our next question is for Julianne. So this one's from Christina. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, my name is Christina Smith. I'm an artist from Scarborough, Ontario. And my question is for the petite women like myself with a heavy bus size. We've had far more events in the last couple months than we've had in the last two years. And my closet is in dire need of formal wear. What would you suggest for a neckline and what are some of the things that we should be keeping in mind when shopping around for formal wear? Oh, she tells no lies when it comes to events right now. Everyone's having a party. Everyone's getting married now. Everyone's doing their thing. So what do you do if you're petite with a bigger bust? Okay, so I think it's really still about highlighting that asset, but doing mm -hmm. it in new ways. We know that the V neckline works, um, but actually... I feel like in the last couple of years, there's been a reinvention of necklines, and we're seeing this one is called the Sweetheart. So it's you're pretty. seeing that it actually does that sort of sweetheart. So mm -hmm. it's a softer V. It's accentuating that bust, but it's really, really feminine and soft. Let's move on to our next one. So the Sweetheart is always a popular one. What would this one be called? It's more of a square neckline. Exactly. You got it. Oh, so it's square. Go. What yeah. I love about it is that it also sort of mimics these collarbones, um, which is a really, really feminine, um, beautiful way to show off that area of the body without really yes. focusing on the bust. Right. Um, and it is great because you can wear your bra with it. So absolutely, that's important to know. Yes, these are things to think about if you have a bigger bust. And our final neckline is the cowl neck. Mm. This is so soft, it drapes just subtly over the bust line. Um, so it sort of minimizes that bust if that's something you're looking to achieve. That is beautiful. And it, you know, it sits just so when you've got that cowl neckline, lovely. Yes. Eva, Julianne, very good. <laughs> Thanks so much for your savvy style tips and a reminder that our experts are always ready to answer your questions. You can email us at submissions at cityline.tv or scan the QR 